We have mysterious new details tonight after the murder of an Escondido police officer. Tens of thousands of dollars found near her body. Her husband was in court today accused of pulling the trigger. And police say he confessed, but today the man charged with killing his wife, that Escondido police officer, pleaded not guilty. The courtroom was packed with family members of the accused, but the victim's family was absent. 10 News reporter Allison Ash traveled to Murrieta for the arraignment. Allison, those family members were somber. Yeah, and only one of them spoke to us as saying that the accused murderer, Freddie Perez Rodas, is, quote, the greatest guy in the world. Of course, that's not the feeling here at Escondido Police Headquarters, where the flags are at half staff, and officers say they're facing a devastating loss. Uh, this has been a, a, a tough couple of days. Escondido Police Chief Craig Carter and his command staff trying to come to terms with the loss of a star rookie on the department, Officer Laura Perez. She couldn't wait to put the uniform on. She couldn't wait to put the badge on. Perez was shot multiple times and killed inside the home she shared with her high school sweetheart, Freddie Perez Rodas. He's accused of stashing her body in this storage facility, then setting the house on fire. A 10 News camera shot this video of the accused killer as firefighters doused the flames. Today in court, he wore red, signifying he's a high-risk inmate. We learned an interesting new detail. Between eighty-five and hundred thousand dollars was found in the storage locker, uh, where the victim's body was also found. That fact, and because Perez Rodas has relatives in Guatemala, led the judge to declare him a flight risk, setting bail at two million dollars. If convicted, he faces fifty years to life. Escondido police are working with the family of Officer Perez to give her full honors at her funeral. Surrounding police agencies have offered to step in to cover the city so that her co-workers can say goodbye to that fallen officer. They are also taking up a collection here for a little four-year-old Suzeth, who we are told is a very tough little girl, very much like her mom. We are live in Escondido. Allison Ash, 10 News.